three things as a Jew that I love about Krakow. Number one, the synagogues. There are still seven standing pre-war synagogues in Krakow. The first time I came to Krakow, I was shocked. I couldn't believe that these synagogues were still standing in Krakow and I didn't know about it. The oldest of the synagogues is the Stare Synagogue or the Old Synagogue. It's from the late 1400s. Growing up in Canada, the oldest Jewish thing that I experienced was maybe built around the turn of the century. It was so difficult to feel some kind of significant connection to the history of my people. But coming to Poland, these synagogues in Krakow make me feel so connected to the history of my people. And I feel a deeper resonance to my own Jewishness because these buildings that have such tangible history that I can feel going into them or even just walking by them. Now, only a couple of them are still being used as functioning synagogues, but nevertheless, I got married in the old synagogue and it was really meaningful to me because of its history. Number two, Platz Bohateruf Getita, or the Ghetto Heroes Square. The Ghetto Heroes Square is in Podguzha, on the site of the former Krakow ghetto during the war. Platz Bohateruf Getita is a large square where Jews who were being liquidated from the ghetto to concentration camps like Auschwitz would be collected before they were shipped off. It has a very, very dark history. And to commemorate that history is this memorial. And I really love this memorial. Not everyone does, but I do. The memorial is a series of chairs. And the chairs are there to commemorate the fact that eyewitnesses talk about the only thing that remained once the Jews were fully liquidated from the ghetto was their furniture. And so these chairs are a representation of that memory. What I really love about this memorial is that they are chairs that people can sit on or walk through. They're not there just to be looked at. They're there to be interacted with. They're there to be lived with. And this for me is a metaphor for one of the reasons that I find Poland so compelling. Because despite such horrible, tragic history, life continues. And this memorial has been built to encourage life to be in continuation with it. So you can be in relationship to history, while at the same time, you can sit on one of these chairs and read a book. A third thing I love about Krakow is the K.L. Płaszczyk concentration camp. I know it sounds a bit strange to say I love a concentration camp. I don't love its history. It's dark. For those who don't know what Płaszczyk is, it's the camp that's in Schindler's List. It's also just about a 15-20 minute walk from the center of town. So it's basically in the city of Krakow. When the war ended, the Germans destroyed almost everything, and it was just kind of left for a long time. And nature took over, and eventually what was once a concentration camp turned into a beautiful, wild, green space. And for many years, unless you knew it was a concentration camp, you just thought you were walking through a park. People sunbathe, they go with their children, they enjoy themselves there. And at first, I have to admit, I found it a bit strange. How can you enjoy yourself at a concentration camp? But eventually, this camp became one of my favorite green spaces to be in, partly for some of the same reasons that I love Platz Bohateruf Getita so much. Because despite this dark and brutal history, life has grown and taken over and turned it into this beautiful green space. So going into the camp, I have this deeply 
reflective experience. I'm in relationship to its history, but because it's green and beautiful, I'm also allowed to experience the pleasure of being in a park. And somehow that helps balance out these negative feelings of the past. I think it's organically become one of the best ways to memorialize a concentration camp. I think it's far better than Auschwitz, which I just feel is a place to go and feel miserable. Whereas when you go to Poishuk, you can maybe bring a picnic and live your life, enjoy living in the present, but not necessarily needing to forget about what happened in the past. I encourage you to go.